congratulations on season three. The show is maybe better than ever. Um, it's so emotional. I'm so excited to get to see so much more of Trent because he's always been a character that I found really fascinating and didn't get enough time with. Um, but I want to ask, obviously, about the scene in episode six, where we finally really get to see a little bit more of who Trent is um, when he opens up to Colin. Can you talk a little bit about how you prepared for that moment? I can talk about how I prepared for that moment. So, yeah, I mean, um, I had a, I, by uh, season two, in season two, Jason had mentioned that this was potentially, um, uh, that this might happen. And um, so then I read a lot of books about um, sort of homosexuality and kind of just immersed myself in l just loads and loads and loads of material and sort of case studies of people that um, uh, in the sport world that were kind of, uh, you know, um, frightened to come out, but being able to chat about it. And, and I was really, I was particularly moved by a book called Straight, I think it's called Straight Jacketed. Um, uh, who's that by Matthew someone? This is the most amazing book. It's by the guy who used to be the editor of um, Attitude magazine here. I've forgotten mm -hmm. the book, but it, I, I was really moved by this book. Um, yeah, so I I just sort of immersed myself in loads of material, and um, and then so by the time um, we got to do the scene, um, I felt like I had sort of hundreds of sort of uh, gay men's stories kind of in my system, and um, mm -hmm. and, and and that was. Um, just a kind of a privilege to sort of hold those in whilst Billy was talking to me, you know, as Colin, when he's telling that, that, that his, um, his experience and how he's kind of living two lives, because I, I, I obviously I know it's not just him that's living, living that. And, and so that was really, really um, kind of, I don't know, almost like cathartic and, uh, and, and oh, yeah, it's just an amazing moment to play. Yeah, I mean, that's great that you did so much research. Did did getting into those stories and really connecting with them in the way that you do when you read something like that, did it, it make you feel a greater responsibility to get it right? Yeah, huge, res I mean, it, I, I, it's sort of a huge, I didn't really see it as a responsibility. I just saw it as an invitation, you know, to just to really see if I can uh, fully empathize and understand the situation that Trent has been in. Um, and also, but especially where Colin is. And um, yeah, it felt, it, just, it did feel really, really important. You know, it felt really important. And, and because this is, um, you know, it's not just, this is not just a moment of fiction. It's, you know, sometimes fiction can tell the truth really you know, even more clearly than fact somehow, you know, it can yeah. have a, a really big impact. Um, yeah, so it, it felt quite special, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I think one of the things that I love so much about the series is the way that it is, the most important thing is to show the humanity of people, complicated people. And, yeah. you know, I think it's easy to villainize the press, the British press. Um, do you think it's important to show that humanity even with, you know, with people in the press and, you know, especially now when they're so often targeted and do you, how do you feel about your role in kind of telling that kind of story? Yeah, I, I think it's really important to always show that, you know, to the, the human, the humanity of people, you know, I mean, the journey that Trent goes on from episode one, where he's mm -hmm. uh, looking at, um, Ted, uh, yeah, Ted, and he wants to just completely, you know, annihilate him, humiliate him, shame him. Um, you know, that's quite a, that's quite a starting point to, 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 to come from. And then of course, actually the joke is all on Trent and, and he, this, this, this man by being who he is just completely undoes Trent internally. And actually it's an undoing that was necessary for his own evolution and growth mm. as, a, as a human being. And then actually what it does is it, it allows the humanity to come out of Trent, which is just a beautiful thing to play and also to witness and experience, you know, because actually, you know, we've all got, kind of public personas and we've all got needs and you know it's um it's wonderful to to play that in this in this show
Yeah. Oh my gosh. That, that restaurant scene is definitely such a powerful one. And, and I, I really appreciate it. It was like when I think I really started to invest emotionally in that character. Do you, now that we're starting to get to see a little bit more of him, are we going to, as the series goes on, are we going to get more, more of who he is? I, yeah, I think we do. And I, it's funny you mentioned the, the, that restaurant scene because that was really pivotal in terms of um, changing his trajectory. And I've, mm -hmm. I've said this before, but there's a bit where uh, Ted says that it's not about the winning and losing for him. It, for him, it was mm -hmm. about these boys being the best versions of themselves, both on and off the pitch. And it ain't always right. easy, particularly when you have a tough you know, background. And that just sort of pops something in, in Trent. And he realizes yeah. that this you know, cynical facade, just need, just, it, there's no time for it. It needs to be, it needs to be, you know, um, dissipated. And actually just by being in proximity with Ted, it is, it, 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 it moves him and changes him because actually that's kind of where he wants to be anyway. He doesn't really want to be this kind of mean character. You know, he kind of, I don't think he quite realized that he turned into the bully, but he had. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that comes up a little bit in this season too, with your scene with them. Um... With, with Roy. With Roy. But, yeah. And yeah. I imagine there's quite a lot of other kind of players that Trent will have, you know, kind of uh, really, you know, shamed and annihilated in, 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 in the press. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see his arc. Like I said, I'm very, very glad we're getting more Trent Krim. And it's been wonderful chatting with you. Thank you so much for taking the time oh, to do this with me you. today. Thank you. Have a wonderful one. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks Bye. a lot.